is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading and YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. Uh, awesome. I know the quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Target family. We appreciate your growling uh, and problem with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great weekend, folks. It's a TGIF. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it a goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you are learning to have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 332. NASDAQ's off 311. S&P's down 67. Gold contract down $20.20, traded at 1851 an ounce. We got silver down 35 cents. $21.92 an ounce. Platinum down 13 at 1014 an ounce. Light Sweet Crude just keeps steaming higher, baby. Up 284. $119.71 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note uh, down nine ticks, trading 118.18. 30 year off 16 at 138.07. And King Dollar. King Dollar's up 337 ticks at 102.161. Euro 107, yen 130.82 in the British pound at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, let's go to the futures first and kind of figure out where we're going to go into this close. So we take a look at the futures out here. You had the... We've, we've had a 90-point move here. This is pretty amazing, actually. <laughs> well, it's, it's the market we're in, there's no doubt. We had a high out here um, of, uh, well, I guess, no, it's 80-point 80, 80 move. Uh, right now, you're down 63. The bottom line is giving everything back from yesterday. And let's just see where we're at. Okay, so if we take a look at this. Well, it's not bad. You know, when it actually was, when it was going up a little bit earlier, that volume wasn't bad. Now the battle's going to be, let's see. So it's 309. Okay, so the bat, I love this. This hour is great, man. So the battle is right here. This is where the battle is. Uh, you know, you can see this little expansion in volume right there. We just did uh, 22,000. You're going to start the next 10-minute bar, and you're going to start that bar going after the lows of today. And the lows of today, folks, had uh, 23,000 contracts. That's light contract volume. You know, so they can very well get into that in about two seconds flat. Let's go take a look at the NQs. This is on the intraday basis now. The NQs are down 347 ticks. They pull this back. Okay, they just had an expansion of volume too. They're going, they're going to go after these lows, man. Yeah, so we just did 9,000 contracts on the 10 minute. That low has... Uh, 11,000 to 14,000, a couple bars there. This is going to go after these lows, man. And what's sticking out like a sore thumb is the low that was established out here uh, yesterday morning. That's a high volume low at 8.20 in the morning. Is it, is it, no, I guess it was, no, it was 9.30. It was the open, it was the opening bar. Now, that's on the daily. Uh, we take a look at this in the weekly. What you're going to see out here is this. This has been building cause, uh, you know, for bottom line, lower price. You know, we take a look at the weekly. I pull this weekly up put this on a couple year. What you're gonna see is that, you know, 
We had volume last week of 426 million in the SPY. Right now, you have 314, but if you add that extra day, it's gonna come in somewhere around 400 million. So you got over the high, which is 415, 38. You closed, you closed underneath it, I suspect, when, unless we have a super rally in the next uh, 45, well, 45, yeah, 50 minutes. Uh, bottom line, it's gonna be a failure on price, failure on volume. What does that set up? That sets up going right after the lows once again, which is 380. Right now, you're at 410. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. Uh, bottom line is that you got over the high, you are gonna fail on price, fail on volume. We take this on, and you're gonna see last week, what we had out here is 330 million shares. Thus far, you've done 233. And that one there, let me just figure this out quick. Why, where are you? Okay, so let's see what we got. We got 233. Oops. 233, I said, right, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's gonna be 291 approximately versus 330. So what you can also see here is this. So check this out. When you do the volume calc on that, what you have is that the, the aspect of, it's showing that the Qs are still much weaker than the SPY. That's what it comes down to, because when you do the calc and the SPY, you come in about 5% lighter volume, and the Qs, you come in a lot, it's 10, 15%, so it's a larger number. When we get closer to the um, close, I will do that. Let's go take a look at the platinum market. That's been on a nice little tear. We got a couple questions about, uh, do you have a double top? And you know, my take is that not, not even close. Um, what you have out here is this, okay, so watch. Platinum's down 13 bucks. You've gone straight up, well, five, last five days. We're from 924 to 1037. Uh, your swing point out here is 1026. So now what you have, you'll, you'll build some more cars. I mean, this, this is a nice move. This is a nice move up there. You'll build some more cars. You know, what game out here is this uh, 1190 right now. And if we go over to good, uh, well, let's go to gold first, then we'll do king dollar. We go take a look at gold. Gold backing down out here today. And look at the contraction of gold. Gold's on its way higher, folks, okay? Uh, bottom line, what we did out here, and this is, I, I, when these happen, man, this is a gift from the trading gods. Because what you have out here, so yesterday we go higher with uh, 127,000 contracts. Well, we've done 106,000, okay? So the bottom line is that, you know, you're backing down, you know, didn't hold price, which is saying that, okay, now you're gonna go out trying to test this, uh, you can test even 1830 once again. Um, but bottom line is that higher prices are coming at us. What you had out here, if you take a look at some of the gold equities yesterday, uh, or look at them today rather, that, you know, went higher, I, what you have out here is that the bottom line is that uh, these babies, let me see, is that September? Okay. Um, they're pulling back with light volume. We ought to take a look at the 10 year bottom line. 10 year out here is uh, going also after it's, uh, you're at 118.18, can't hold price. Uh, bottom line is low is game once again. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district. This is a large scale, low cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down uh, 392. You get the NASDAQ off 340. S&Ps are off 73. Let's go to our man, Phil, in Puerto Rico. Phil, what's going on, brother? Uh, same stuff, living the dream, same as you and yours, Tom. That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> you know, so funny is that when you call you know, and do, I'm saying to myself, the program started off with you. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're all part of the lucky you-know-what club, right? That's a beautiful <laughs> thing, man. <laughs> so, MRNS. 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 Let's see what we got here. So, let's see. Okay, this is a pharmaceutical, the manufacturer... Uh, Medical products, uh, development, commercialization of medical drugs for the treatment of neurological and psychiatric disorders, epilepsy, epilepsy, traumatic stress. Okay, so let's take a look. Revenue, the lows 14, the highs 19. Okay, so just getting off the ground here. They take in 14, well, they take in 14 million first quarter. They, they plan on take it, only taking in two million this quarter. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Okay, so bring this back. Put this on a monthly. So, yeah, this is not a bad looking chart, Phil. This is what Okay, so what happens with these, like, I mean, you know, we go back, folks, the 2015, the stock was at 82 bucks, okay? Bottom line, lays out, goes all the way down to $3. Um, we hit 419 last month, but it, it is getting a little pop here, man. Um, yeah, I mean, you could be in this for a little bit. Uh, let me just see. Are they, are they waiting for it? Let me just see something, okay? So, yeah, I, I they're going to they're going to launch uh one of their products next month um a okay. drug for a rare uh I forget if it was seizure or I see. some a rare disorder so it says here that uh they were granted additional time in year in, in the European review for this seizure candidate you know, for right. for trade, um, the bottom line is that you know it, it doesn't look that bad. That that's the real bottom line. What what happens is that when you get an equity that has got hurt this bad, um, what you want to see it do, which this hasn't done yet, Phil, right, is take out a swing point. 
Um, right. You know, but on the daily on the daily basis, it, I mean, I know you, you're not you know you get not getting married to this thing. You're just getting in for you know whether it's a few right. days or whatever. I can see that. I can see that. I mean, because this should you know you see that big volume. This is when you get a huge volume. Like we go back to March and it couldn't take out that swing. That's a problem. Does that mean someone just selling into it? That's when it went all. It started out at eight eight dollars, went to twelve thirty seven, and then ended at eight dollars, eight and fifty cents again. You know, but it doesn't mean that you can't go to the bottom of that, which is eight dollars and fifty cents. Well, you know? yeah, sounds good, Tom. I appreciate it. Okay, man, you have a great one, the safe one. Hey, have a great weekend. I'll Thank see you. you guys next week. Thanks, man. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at, uh, well, first, okay, so CL1. We're going to go look at this oil market. This oil market's got 150 in it, man. This is going to be, like, insane. Where the, the pump prices, uh, I just paid 525, no, 552 yesterday at Speedway. Now, Speedway around here, you know, is... Thornton's is the least expensive, and Thornton's is running a lot wide. It just happened that there were speedways in front of me when I stopped, but that's the most I've paid thus far. Um, let's pull this up, put this on a monthly. Okay. Oh, look at oh, yeah, this. is like a no-brainer, man. So 147's game. Let me pull this back further. Come on, computer. Come on, work it out. Let's go. <laughs> it's, I think the computer just took a weekend already. Oh, yeah, look at this. Okay, so, yeah, this, this, you know, we're, we're the 147 is game. That's the real bottom line. If it ever breaks 147, man, watch out, man. But that 147 is game. Let's go we'll take a look at uh, HG. Let's go take a look at the copper market out here. So copper right now, that's trading at 446. That's down eight and a half pennies today. I had a huge move yesterday. I had volume yesterday too, man. Yeah, cop, so copper's on its way to the highs again, which is 501 a pound. So let's go take a look at Free, Freeport Mac Moran, FCX. And this is a nice setup, man. Free, Freeport Mac runs an ABC up. Thanks, Ryan. This is going to be a good trade, man. Okay, so let's do the numbers here. 41, 33. So you get... Let's say eight bucks. That's forty-four. It's gonna dig into these bars. That's an ABC up. Forty forty-four is game, man. That's on your daily. Let's put this on a weekly. Yeah, it's gonna it's it's gonna come into some flack, but this is a good setup, man. This is definitely a good setup. Yeah. There's uh, a lot there to be had. There's no two ways about it. Let's go see, uh, oh, so Elon Musk out there, bottom line, you know, you get, um, he's going to basically dump, uh, you know, 10% of his salaried workers. Uh, this is, you know, pulling down and I want to see if it has hit 501. Did it already hit 501? No, 620. So, I mean, th this thing, your next leg here is 500. You break 500 and you're going to be at 193. That's how this thing is set up. You can see, I mean, it has a high volume low at the 620 area right now. And then, so Elon come out. And so the way he's a trip, man. Let's see. Let's see. What did he say? The only salary jobs where I got to find it. His, um, his quote was something like, it's, it's going to be bad. Something's, something's coming down the pike. Well, what's coming down the pike, folks, okay, is higher interest rates. And the whole world, uh, the, yeah, the world in general, has been used to very inexpensive uh, interest rates for a huge amount of time. Um, that's how it comes down to. Yeah, the, the big bars in, so we just looked at Freeport MacRain, the big bars in FCX, that's why it has to build cars in order to get through them. That's the supply line. And yeah, it, it, that, won't, that will not happen overnight. That's the, that's the bottom line. That's how that thing is set up. Let's go to a Dan in Los Angeles. Hey, Dan, what's going on? Hi, Tom. Uh, great friend of you. Uh, just wanted to find out about how exactly 
this qual- quantitative tightening effects to our 401k accounts our investments and what exactly do you suggest uh, for a long time holders this is a great question so what happens there's there's a couple of things for a 401k now this is the cool thing about a 401k folks okay that the bottom line is that you can sell into the market on a 401k and not pay taxes yeah stay right there we're going to be coming right back dow industrials right now are down 368 nasdaq's off 325 s&ps are off 70 we're going to be talking with our man dan from la we're going to be talking about uh, the market and we're talking about a 401k and we're going to be talking about um you know when you sell um not paying taxes because you're in a 401k so it's a whole different ball game as to how you can actually protect yourself stay right there folks we're coming right back if you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Tom O'Brien has just announced a live Timing the Trade webinar Friday, June 10th from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Join Tom O'Brien for five hours of live education as he teaches you his trading methodology right from his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. In this live webinar, Tom O'Brien will be teaching you his entire trading system, including quality volume, ABC structures, Fibonacci confluence zones, cause and effect, swing points, and more. We will be limiting this class to 40 attendees, so please do not delay and reserve your seat today for this special live event with Tom O'Brien. All attendees will also receive a physical copy of his book, The Art of Timing the Trade, an $88 value, mailed to you, along with the free month of his daily newsletter, Market Insights, a $169 value. For all the details and to reserve your seat today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 327. You get the NASDAQ off 309. S&Ps are off 64. We're talking with Dan from LA, and we're talking about the market and 401k. So, Dan, first, let, let's talk the market for a second. And so, the market... You know, like, uh, say so you get uh, Elon Musk saying, okay, it's a super bad feeling, right, about the market. You got Jamie yeah. Dimon saying, okay, there might be a hurricane coming. That being said, I don't see this like a 2007, 2008, okay? It, you know, there's just, you know, we'll see when these rates keep going up about who doesn't have a bait and suit on, is naked, you know, and has over leveraged themselves. But I don't see it as a 2008. Now, that being said, Market-wise out here, I think we're going lower, you know, and, and the aspect is to crush inflation, they have to keep going up on rates. And every time they go up on rates, you're going to see this market go lower. 
You know, because the bottom line is that these large companies, the reason that large companies, you know, you see them make so much money is that they take so much risk in the aspect of how much they're actually leveraging themselves, right? So let's take a look at the S&P, because now let's get into the, you, know, you asked a question about your 401k, right? And this is, this is what the, the way that I look at, you know, the, the cool thing, this is different, folks, if you have, you know, an investment account and it's in a taxable account versus a 401k. The difference in a 401k is that, guess what, you can sell, you've made money, you're not going to pay tax on the money, okay? So the way I look at this is that right now the S&P is at 4,100, okay? The all-time high is out here at 4,800, right? So depending on how you feel about the market, let's just, let's just do a number. Let's just say there's 100,000 in your, in your 401k. And, you know, at the highs, okay, the bottom line was 120,000. That being said, though, the bottom line is that we are still in an area, and, you know, my son Tommy had brought this up a couple times on the show, and this is really important to understand. We're, we're in an area from April of 2021. So I would ask myself this, and I did this in a big way, not only just in investment in general, okay? I sold into this in a monster way, real estate-wise, okay? And this is where I go with it, is that if the market is down 20%, how's that going to affect you? And if the other side of that is that if I'm totally wrong and then the market goes up 20%, how does that affect you? So the real case there is that you could get in cash and say, okay, if the market goes up 20%, I, I don't get the 20%. But if you're getting cash and the market is down 20%, it's like, okay, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good. You know, so that is kind of what you have to ask yourself, Dan. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, got it. So do you suggest, like, if at all, if it goes down, like, maybe regularly, when you're adding it to a monthly, you want into cash for now, then add it back uh, when it goes down? Oh, I would definitely keep adding. I mean, you put put as much money in. I would still put the amount of money that you can put in. I just wouldn't put it into the market, but put it into your account because you only put so much here, and then it's just in cash. You see what I'm saying? So it. it's really one of those deals that, you know, and I've found this is a really cool way of investing in general, folks, okay? Because what happens is this. Like, so picture. Tampa right now is the number one real estate in the country. My take on this is that I've been selling into it in a monster way, okay? And I'm happy where I'm at. I don't even care if it goes up another 20%, okay? So I, I still have prime pieces, but, but I don't care. I sold a lot, okay? I really would care. When I, when I look at the portfolio, if it went down 20%, I wouldn't dig that, man. <laughs> because it's like, you know, what, what happens in the market, whether it's the stock market or the real estate market, right? Normally, it goes, it goes small, 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 and then accelerated dramatically. And now, the exact same thing happened in the S&Ps as in the real estate market. You don't get those moves, man. I've been doing this long enough. You just don't get those moves. So it's like, hey, man, I, I'm going as much cash as I can have and then wait out a year, you know? So... Yeah, the, uh, Tom, the reason I'm asking is, like, I've been through, like, 2008 crash. Uh, at that time, like, uh, whole four open k account, like, totally 40, 50% down. Right. Or so whatever I made. And then I didn't want to happen again if Elon Musk, like, folks are, <laughs> say, betting. And then uh, a whole market of people are saying that a hurricane is coming, like you are saying. Just wanted to see, like, maybe going to save more, maybe 50%, because that 40, 60 bond also it was not working. So bonds and, also went down. So it was like a trivial way, like, way to hide in it. That's right. And I'm so glad, Dan, you just brought this up. So what you just brought up, folks, is that this is the mantra for financial advisors and the Wall Street in general, okay? That, you know, 40% bond, 60% stock, okay? I can tell you, I've been doing this now <laughs> since like in 1981. I've never seen that work, ever, okay? This is just like a, a, a deal that evidently they came up with at some particular point, okay? Um, you know, 
it, to me, every time that I've seen a hit, everything gets hit. You know, so I mean, I would just look at it and you know, just look at that S and P and say, hey, you know, I mean, you know, if the S and P you're at 4,100, 4, if the S and P goes down to 3,300, what do you think about that? You know, because that's game. And the reason oh. I'm saying that's game is that there's plenty of equities, including J.P. Morgan, that has already done that. You know, so to me, when I look at like a J.P. Morgan and say, OK, man, you already have been digging into, you know, this March low. Um, that's serious business, man. So, you know, it, it, this has to do with, you know, that whole fear of missing out. If you're if you're happy, I, I just go over the whole deal again. If you're happy with where you are right now, no. Let's say you. We all are. You know, I always say that saying: Yesterday's gone, tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Well, picture right now. Whatever you have in your 401k, you have. If it goes up 20 percent, of course you'll be happy. But if it goes down 20 percent, what are you going to do? If you can, if if you feel that you're okay with that, then you can stay where you're at. But you know, when we're in 401k, you don't have a tax consequence. All it's going to mean is you're getting cash, you have a cash position, and if it does go down 20%, well, good. Then when you feel comfortable to get back in the market, you get back in the market, man. You know? Got it. Thank you very much, Tom. I okay. appreciate your station. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. You too. And there is a huge difference. So now let's talk about the aspect, and this is where it's more dangerous, for sure, because when if you have your equities in a taxable account folks okay that's something that that's a whole different ball game because the bottom line depending what kind of tax structure you're in right um <laughs> if you're gonna pay 34 cents on the dollar um on a equity i would not be selling that's that's the bottom line it's not even close because the it, the, one of the reasons that Buffett has got so rich, okay, is that it, he knows that you buy something. And this is what all of us should be doing, by the way, okay? If you have stocks in taxable accounts, the bottom line, you should just be trying to buy the best stocks you have and just run it out. I tell people when they're starting, okay, and this, you should give this advice to everyone. You're starting out, just buy the spy and forget it. If you're 20 years old, you're 30 years old, buy the spy, forget it, see you later, go have a life, come back in 30 or 40 years and take a look at it. Because guess what? If that's not up dramatically in 30 or 40 years, it's not going to matter. The rest of it's going to be toast too. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are down at 336. You get the NASDAQ off 304. S&Ps are down 65. Let's go inside the Dow. And well, first off, let me, let me, I want to look at this Dow. Okay, so, so let's see what we did. Okay, same deal. So the Dow is going to have the same deal, meaning you got over the high. Yep, just over. They just made it too. So the Dow got to 33,272. Yep, I got over. It's going to close underneath it. Okay, so. Inside the Dow Industrials, let's see what's moving this Dow out here today. So, you have uh, putting juice into it is Caterpillar plus 15, uh, Chevron plus 11, IBM 4. Taken away from it, United Health minus 40, Apple minus 38, Goldman minus 34. So, we go take a look at, uh, let's go to Apple first. Okay, so Apple's pulling back. Already has an expansion of volume from yesterday. We're at 72 yesterday. You're already at 73. We take this, put this on a weekly. Same setup, man. Yeah, these are these are all. And if Apple's an AB, oh man, uh, yeah, if folks, you just got to be careful out here, man. That's the bottom line. I mean, you know, I I, I suspect this is where I think this is going to shake out. That. They're going to go up. Let's see. The, we are at, here's the Fed. Okay, so the calendar. Let's take a look at this. Okay, so we have a meeting on the 15th. So that's going to be the 15th at 2 o'clock. We're at the 3rd now, right? Yeah. So they go up another half a point there. And I think that's going to put more heat on it. And so what also happens on the 15th is this. Check this out. They're rolling off the balance sheet, right? So the first roll off is actually the 15th. And what, all, what that means specifically is this, is that the bonds that they have have expired, okay? So they'll get the interest on it, that is, that's expired, but they're, they're not gonna buy another 15 billion. That's the first roll off, okay? So simultaneously, they go up another half point, they start rolling down. My take is that the, they're gonna probably blow it and not go up in July because the market will be so heavy against them. Then what you'll have is this, is that the numbers on inflation won't stop. So if that's what we get, they are gonna go up another half a point. Even, you know, like, like ASAP, they have to go up another half a point because the bottom line is that, you know, they're saying that, yeah, you get inflation 8%, 9%, whatever that is. You start running these same type of numbers and people start losing their jobs. That, that's stagflation, folks. That's how that works, okay? That the numbers are already baked into the system and you know, I heard a deal that uh, they were claiming that it wasn't baked into the payrolls. It's baked into the payrolls in a monster way, man. I mean, they're not, they're not running any companies. It's, it's baked into the payrolls in, in a monster way. So I suspect what we're going to see, now this morning with you, with you had out here, 
is that it was a decent jobs number. That decent jobs number, when you dig into that jobs number, though, and this is what I think you're going to have, which is unfortunate. Yeah, you're going to have travel come back. Okay, that's a huge part of the business. That's, that's what those numbers to their travel was huge. They're coming back. But guess what you're going to have? Then you're going to have higher paying jobs, though, that are going to get toasted. And I think, you know, my take is that inside the real estate business, it's going to be a problem. And so here, let me tell you this story. So this is a trip, right? So right now, uh, I'm building four houses. Our three of them are already sold. I'm going to, I'll sell the other one, right? And so I'm, I've been dealing with the same guy with pools for a long time, okay? Bottom line, he went up on the pools. And you can tell I've been doing this long enough. I, I brought this up before. These houses are going up so quick. I, and I, I've said to you know, my subs, I says, hey, man, you, get, you slowing down? They're definitely, and of course, they all say, no, 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 we're not slowing down. Do you know what I mean? It's like, they're slowing down. <laughs> because, because what ends up happening, Center sending two plumbers, they're sending five. Okay? So check this out. So the guy that I have with the pools, you know, no, not fiberglass pools. Jesus, Dan. God. Anyway, okay. No, we do cement pools with Pebble Tech. Fiberglass pools, man. You must have been in Boston too long, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so the bottom line is that, let's see, I've been dealing with him seven or eight years now, right? So at the beginning of it, because the, the beginning, they didn't have a lot of, well, they had a lot of business, okay? But, you know, the bottom, the bottom line is that, you know, you get returned phone calls, you know, all that. Then, like the last two or three years, they're so, you know, they don't need anyone because they're so busy. Um, bottom line, then what ends up happening, you don't get no calls back. I have to basically get out of my office, drive down to the office, you know, flat out, you know, and be in front of them. So what ends up happening? Two days ago, um, I call up. Guess what? We got a return phone call immediately. Oh, I'm calling you back, Tom, because you called me. It's like, oh, yeah, really? <laughs> Those are the things, folks, that you want to pick up on. That, because what happens is that, yeah, he, he don't get a lot of orders for four pools at a time, okay? Um, my point in all of this is that when I look and I'm coming into work, when you look at the amount of people that are actually subs, and I look at the amount of people, over well, the amount of checks I write out, it, you keep a huge amount of people employed. And when you pull back, well, what ends up happening? Well, what ends up happening is, you know, less subs are gonna be out there. Now, we've been lucky enough, you know what I mean, that I'm, I'm, still, I'm still building enough, um, you know, for the next year. But you get the gist of it. The gist of it is that if people yeah, the gist of my take, the gist of it, we're going to take a hit. The hit's already starting, and, uh, you know, the bottom line is that a lot of people are going to get hurt. That's, when I cut to the chase, that's kind of, that's kind of how this whole thing uh, shakes out. Um, yeah, I want to show you this, too. Yesterday, this was cool, because what, yes, what you had yesterday, you can see, you know, you had that huge, you know, day up. Look at this volume here. Contraction of volume, big time. 946 million. It couldn't even, the NYSE couldn't even do a billion shares. We go into the, the composite, the NASDAQ composite, bottom line, 4.4 billion shares, okay? Forget it, man. Those numbers should be so much higher, particularly when you go up like we did go up. This, is, this has been like a classic for a Memorial Day weekend, coming back from Memorial Day weekend. You know, we'll see where this uh, whole thing shakes out, but... My take is that this is going to be very tough from now and, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, September, October, you know, we come into a low. It could be a razor blade cut all summer long, though, folks. Um, you know, when, when markets like to go down, that's kind of how they shake out. You know, you, you get down a couple legs, you get do a couple great legs on the way back and then see you don't want to be a and uh, the acceleration, you know, and the next leg is just as fast as the first leg. Dow Industrials right now uh, down 390, Nasdaq's off 324, S&P's off 71. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down at 348. You get the NASDAQ off 307. S&Ps are off uh, 67. And so let's take a look uh, what you got here. So... That's a downdraft of, uh, no, wrong one. There we go. Okay, so inside of the NASDAQ, it's 2.5%, 1.5 uh, 1 in the S&Ps, and 1 in the Dow. Let's go take a look at the composite. So the composite out here right now, yeah, it's, it's a, it's, in the middle of the range from yesterday, but the weekly is the same deal. The weekly is gonna you're gonna you get over the high. The high of last week was twelve thousand one thirty one. So, bottom line is that that's gonna go after the lows, you know. And well, you'll see. I mean, if this is ever well, let's see, sixteen thousand five hundred. God, five thousand. Well, that'll be an eight thousand A to B. Let me just go look at this for a second. Eight thousand. Well, nine eight hundred is there. Yeah, hey, we'll see where this the baby shakes out. That's the bottom line. The the way that you got to look at this is that we've talked about this many times. Okay, that when interest rates are low, all of us, you know, if you go back to the aspect of how the economy works. 
I get money, I give it to you. You give it to someone else, you give it to someone else. It's, it's the velocity of that, how it goes, right? When interest rates are higher, every one of our signatures are worth less money. So that means there's less money to go around. When there's less money to go around, unfortunately what ends up happening is that there's people that, as they say, don't have a bathing suit on, they're toast, and what ends up happening then is that all of us get things at less expensive prices. And that just brings the economy down, until it doesn't. But once it starts, it starts. It doesn't turn like in a second, man. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy. Monday morning kicks us off. Great show, folks. We'll get him, folks. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to 